Hey y'all, I have for you a, a yard sale haul, but it was only one yard sale. Uh, this is being done on a Friday, and we only passed one yard sale, so we stopped. And then a Goodwill outlet haul, which there's quite a bit of things from that. So first I'm going to show you the um, one yard sale. And I was so excited because they had vintage Christmas stuff. So this bag was a dollar, and I'll open it up. I've not opened any of the bags and seen exactly what was in there, but there is that. And what I think I'm going to do with everything is I hope to find some sort of vintage or vintage-looking Christmas bowl or tray, and I just want to lay everything out on it. And if it's a bowl, you know, ever so often kind of move the top stuff to the bottom. And I'll just say you can enjoy everything. And that's in a little bag. This reminds me back when um, country things were so in style. It's got rickrack around the side. Look at that little Santa. Isn't he precious? Do any of y'all remember back when there was stuff like this? And, um, I guess these are ornaments. But they're, they have the same thing. Well, I guess they are because they have the hole in the string. But anyway, there are two snowmen and one little soldier. And here is a snowflake. And this was a nice find, I thought. Here's what it says on the bottom. And it's uh, Joseph, there's Joseph, and Mary, and baby Jesus. And then here is the last of the bags. And here is a crocheted angel. It's very pretty. It's been starched. And this things in this bag kind of remind me of Christmas around the world. But, and it's still in the wrapper. I can take it out. There's a little bear on a bell. And here's a rocking horse. And here is a little teddy bear on a rocking chair. And if I knew where to look, well, made in China, it says, if I knew if there was somewhere to look to see if it was Christmas around the world, I could tell you for sure. But it does look like it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just real happy to get that. And I always, I've said it before, I watched Miss Stone Home and her, um, vintage Christmas finds and I just love them so now I have some and the last thing at that yard sale was this and it says uh, antique pie pans uh, 87 years old uh, two antique pie pans and it was a dollar and it was um, like a apartment complex with older people and they were all gathered 
having a yard sale. And the lady said she doesn't cook anymore and she can't use them. So, um, anyway, I, I don't think I will sell these just because I just really like them. And I just like to display them. But I was tickled to get those. So, now I'm going to go on to the Goodwill outlet. And my um, second daughter loves to make cupcakes and decorate them. So I got her, a, uh, you might have seen in my last, um, I think it was yard sale haul. But anyway, I got her a, a cupcake decorating book. And then I found this today, cake and frosting mix, um, different recipes, how to cook them um, and decorate them. So I got that for her. And I have two baskets over here so I can put all my stuff in it. And uh, have room. Now I have a big bag of clothes and I'm going to go through them real fast and just show you. Um, here's a hat. And it's got these balls on them. And when you squeeze the ball. Uh, wait a minute, this one. Isn't that cute? So, um, that's for Kaylin. And I'm trying to figure out where what goes where. And her birthday is coming up October 6th, and she'll be five. And these are probably too big, but this one says birthday, and this one is inside out. But it says happy. And, um... Anyway, so she'll wear those on her birthday and be a big girl. Also, this Hello Kitty winter hat. Um, this matching outfit here, it's a um, Oshkosh, and it's a little hooded top, and then little coordinating bottoms. I got my husband these, um, just not pants. He loves to, to be in those. So I got him those. And this Hurley shirt, t-shirt. And I like this a lot for my husband. It's a t-shirt with a cross on the front. And then in back. I gotta turn it around to read it. It says, He loves you so much it hurts. And so, I got that for him. I found quite a bit for Kaylin. Here's a little dress. And she was needing some stuff, so I was tickled to find it. A little Halloween, uh, long top this little uh, she'll wear this as a top I hope you're able to see as I'm showing you because I can't really see this little top we're kind of in between weather so some days she'll need the cool stuff and some day the warm stuff Another little Oshkosh top. It kind of reminds you of those pillowcase dresses that were so popular not too long ago. This little dress. These um, Nike, Nike Spear Dry Pants. Here is a pair of um, Avenue jeans, and Avenue's for big girls, and so I'm hoping to be able to wear those. And these are like really long 
but Kaylin loves to to uh, sometimes wear like boy shorts and a a um, Ninja Turtle uh, t-shirt, so she will like that. This is for my little Charlie Bug, my little grandson. His name's Charlie Gray. We call him Charlie Bug. So a little jacket for him. Another little dress for Kaylin. Um, here is a Disney little dress for Kaylin. And here's a little skirt for Kaylin. It's got the inside uh, shorts built in. So that's it for the clothes. And I'm going to come right back and uh, show you all the other stuff I got. I'm going to kind of try to go through this fairly quick too because it's so much. I got a, a planner. There's nothing in it, but it's a Franklin Covey. Uh, yeah. So, I got that. It's in real good condition. The square Tupperware. I've been getting some Tupperware lately. I'm glad about that. Here's another piece of Tupperware. So, I had that. Oh, I was going to put all this down here. Then I forgot. Here is um, stamp sets. Um, and I really don't understand how you use them. All of them. But there is that. And whoever was selling it before they donated it was asking $10. So there's a couple different kinds of stamps in that. And here's another Tupperware. And then I got about six or seven of these rolls of craft paper. And uh, all of them were wrapped up except this one. But I think you can always use uh, craft paper for some reason or another. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I had seven rolls of craft paper. And before I forget, everything that I'm showing you that has come from... Um, the Goodwill outlet came to $27. So all the clothes and then everything after that. I found these for my little grandson. They're girls, but you know, at night when they're sleeping, well, they're training pants, which they would probably put these on him at night when he's sleeping. And my son-in-law will have a fit seeing a pink diaper on his boy. But... You know, if he's just sleeping, it doesn't matter. So, I'll let them decide if they'll let him wear it or not. I got these four plates, Christmas plates, and they're all different. I love the design on them. And what I thought I would do with them is um, I want to give some of the neighbors, um, you know, make some goodies and give them a tray so I can just give them one of these plates and they can keep it and, um, you know, not worry about trying to get a plate back to me and they'll have a nice little plate they can use for themselves. And we got Kaylin, this little... Um, Minion had its new So she will love that And I don't know what this is made for but uh, I thought on my desk it would be cute to put uh, Maybe paper clips and other things I might need to get to a lot so I got that I got this um, 
It's kids' thank you notes, but I'll be using them. They're real. Um, I, well, all I've really seen is the uh, heart there, but it's real cute. So I'll enjoy that. And I got my grandson his first Christmas little uh, reindeer. It's by Carter's. And this is from Tweetsie Railroad, which is in North Carolina. It's an attraction, and it's a slingshot, and you pull it back. And I'm sure there's a better way to do it than I am. And you take the clothespin, and and uh, I guess you put something there, and then let it go, and it shoots. But anyway, I'm going to give that to Kaylin. Uh, after a while and she loves little stuffed animals so I got her that I found these um, Clarks I didn't look at the size there they're um, the size 10's and maybe I could wear these I don't know but they're brand new as you can see uh, I'm going to have to try those I didn't even realize that they were my size. I got Charlie a little ball when he starts. He's kind of trying to crawl and this would be something for him to reach for and play with. I got to eat more chicken. Um, Chick-fil-A. How? And I think this is probably all I can't read the bottom. Somebody would have to read it to tell me what it says. But um, this is a Whitman's Candy Snoopy, and um, I forget I forget the name of the bird. But anyway, it's the pumpkin. So I really love Charlie Brown and the Gang. <clears throat> this is. Um, Fruits something. It's probably a cheap perfume. But I just picked it up. And I got this because I want to take one of my smaller plants and just set this over top of it. Just, you know, just like that. Just have it growing inside of there. I just thought that would be really cute. So that's why I got that. I bet you think this bag never ends. Here's a Hello Kitty little wall clock. It just needs a battery. That's for Kaylin's room. And I know some of this stuff has prices on it, but uh, like I said, uh, they didn't go by the price. They went by the pound. I got this bag of tabs because I thought there might be a time I was going to do a craft and I would need them. So, I got that bag of tabs. And I got this pair of wreath flip-flops. And... I'm getting close to the end. I got this little pair of rainbow sandals. I'm really hope or flip flops. I'm really hoping that Kaylin can wear these. Uh, I didn't look at the size on them either, but I'm hoping that she can wear these. So we'll have to clean those up. Here's a harness for a dog, and. We're not sure how it works, but anyway, we're going to see if uh, we can use that for our uh, our black dog, the um, lab, anyway. And then here is um, Stampin' Up, a stamp bundle. This one was $6.00. 
that the person had uh, bundled up and you can see there's all kinds of stuff in it I don't use these I don't know how to use them and I just don't do a lot of crafts with stamps but anyway sometimes you just can't pass up something so I believe that that is um, everything I got and I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, I enjoy bringing you these hauls and have a great weekend and I'll see you soon bye bye